In this video, I'm going to be going through five different ways of how you can find low competition keywords, whether it be for SEO, YouTube, whatever it is, we're going to find it. So I'm going to take you over to a keyword research tool that I currently use, which is called Keysearch.co. It allows you to find different keywords of different levels of competition. And depending on what you're using it for, it will also show you the uh, average search volume for the month as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight onto the computer. I'm going to show you exactly how to find those low competition keywords. OK, so you can see we're here in the key search tool. And one of the things um, that I do first of all is if you're promoting a product I would basically use the product as a seed keyword now when you actually come into this tool you have this uh, search box here which is where you place your seed keywords and the reason I call it a seed is because it then gives you all of these extended branches just like a tree only on the internet of all of these related uh, keywords okay so say for example if we're going to promote something like click funnels we put click funnels in and this is one that I've actually searched previously so you would put that in then like you can see all of the related terms so you can see like click funnels alternative lead pages now with this tool you want to go for anything under 25 or under 30 uh, initially in order to rank easily so these keywords are ones that don't take a lot of backlinks uh, to rank okay so you can see here obviously I've unlocked quite a few but what's more interesting once you find these easy keywords it can then lead you on to more more keywords so say for example how we've got like sales funnel software we could take that and then use that as a seed keyword to bring up more related terms but one of the first things that I do is I actually come into this filter tab and then I sort it by five words or more now this will give me all of the long tail keywords and usually within that kind of region you'll find you know a lot more um, of these easy to rank keywords so you can see here I found one two three and if we check them you can see like you know there's sites with a uh, very low domain authority no backlinks ranking you know position four with just content okay so we can see now don't focus too much on the low comp the low search volume because it doesn't really matter when you rank for this term you're not going to just rank for this you're going to rank for all of the uh, similar terms as well so if we click this one i would even go for that and you can see here that it's stupidly low websites ranking here like you know we're talking about uh, 10 minute funnels versus click funnels so look at a site with domain authority of two that could have been started like only a couple of days ago or something okay but we're actually going to uh, keep that down and what we're going to do we're also going to basically use one of these words uh, to find more words okay so one of these keywords to find more let's take this very easy one and when you find these these are like gold mines you've got to lock onto them and then use them to find more words as well okay so we put 10 minute funnels versus click funnels and then this will bring up more keywords so you can see here this one's one of the ones that were there already and then if we again sort by five or more you can uh, see that the number of words extend we can sort by search volume to get those high search volume words first and with this tool you only get a certain amount of credit so you don't want to use it up too much so that by doing it this way you you know you reduce the amount of um credits that you use so is click funnels a pyramid scheme see so that's a very easy keyword i'm going to save that one of my friends who's actually doing this as well so what you would do is basically you know keep doing that and yeah there you go that's a very easy keyword term anything under 25 here you know you don't even need backlinks to rank and as you can see um from these terms like if i were to go onto this one sorry you can see sites with no authority links this is just like youtube comments and all of that kind of stuff what well, up to links there you know very very easy to outrank there's a site there with only a domain authority of eight the second way involves coming over to a site called answerthepublic.com so another way if we were looking for something like click funnels to find some more keywords is to actually put the keyword in here now when you actually put any kind of keyword into this tool you want to make it very uh, vague you know so something that is just a big massive uh, keyword something like just the product name don't put like specifics you want it to be very broad in that sense okay 
so just one word or two words maximum and then this is going to basically go out and find all the questions that people are asking on google youtube yahoo all these other search engines and it's going to do you know prepositions comparisons alphabetical order and related so if we sort by data there you can see all of these different keywords you know can you use click funnels with shopify can i use click funnels with shopify can you use click funnels for affiliate marketing see so what you're going to do is you're basically going to take these questions and this every time no matter what you do you're always going to take whatever word you find and put it back into the seed keyword tab inside of the tool and the reason for that is because that's going to show you the you know relevant metrics associated around that keyword because if you just take this and try to write an article for it you don't really know you know exactly how many times it's on average being searched um, not that this tool is exact anyway it's only an estimate but you um, can't see the levels of competition you're going up against so you can see here though this word is showing that it's getting zero searches a month but it's definitely being searched because obviously it's here now what that could mean is that it's a brand new keyword and it's new to the market so i would still target it even if it's zero searches i wouldn't do a bunch of those kind of keywords but i'll do them every so often but if you can't find anything on that do five or more words and then you can unlock some other ones you know just down here like can you make a living from affiliate marketing blah 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 you know you might find some easy ones inside of here somewhere okay so what you've got to do is just keep searching and there's one right there so you can see this one is a 32 which is a little bit high but you can see here there's a domain authority of 23 there they have got two authority backlinks so it might be a bit difficult to outrank that but this one down here one authority backlink and a very low domain authority and if you keep coming down you know done for you affiliate marketing super easy keyword that came off of the extended version of this so you've got obviously 90 and then here you've got this uh you know very low authoritative uh, website with only a domain authority of eight no backlinks at all that's about 90 searches a month plus all the extras that you'll rank for within the article as well so strategy number three involves actually coming over to a website called cura.com now what this is is a platform where others go to ask questions and if you want to be on the other side of the fence you can actually answer those questions to build up organic traffic to your blogs on this website okay so if we actually go over to the search box here you need to type a question in here how to use click funnels or something like that and this will basically give you and populate some questions that people are asking around the uh, topic okay so if you just put a word it also brings up some questions so you can see here you know what is the best and free alternative alternative for click funnels is click funnels better than builder or what's these are all keywords okay so you won't go and actually write on the back of this because it's only being asked on cura but what it will do is give you an idea of what to use as a seed keyword because we're always using this as a, as a, as the final place where we go to, to find more okay so basically what we're going to do is for example you can see like this is like method number three you know what is the best and free alternative to click funnels so we're going to put that in use it as a seed keyword and then that's going to give us more keywords that we can actually find on the extended branches off of you know this main keyword okay so as you can see here this one's like you know what's the best free alternative that's not obviously you know a good one i've unlocked quite a few of these now these are all easy ones as you can see what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, five or six more or more words so six or more words and then you can see these are ones that i haven't unlocked yet let's do by search volume and let's start unlocking these keywords and inside of that we're going to find a few easy ones okay so this is actually not related to click funnels i don't know so there's a website with like completely no authority here and then click funnels is at the top now what's interesting when you see these official websites the branded uh, domain at the top usually means you can get in in or around that but they've got quite a high authority which is quite interesting but you could probably get into like position three or four like even though this is a very authoritative website because youtube videos are easy to outrank okay all that will tell you is that it's a very visual topic so include a lot of media into your blog post if you do go for it but look how to make money with click funnels so i would go for that you can see like an example of this site with no backlinks and a domain authority of one which is a brand new website that means it's like day one um, is is in the top 10 okay so it's a very easy keyword to go for so that's another one right there and that's strategy number three which is going over to cura 
finding questions, bringing those questions over to this tool and placing it in as a seed keyword to find more and then adding filters to obviously, you know, find those long tail keywords. Okay. Now strategy number four involves reverse engineering your competitors websites. So if you actually come over to, you know, this kind of uh, search here and you find all these low competition uh, websites, what you're going to do on this tool is you're going to go to competitive analysis and go to organic keywords. And what you're going to do here is basically take these websites websites and drum them into the tool. So if we were to take this domain here and then put it in, we're going to bring up more keywords. And we know because anything they're ranking in the top one to 10 for, they've got a very low authority. So if they're ranking there, then there's a high chance that we're going to outrank them in any of those keywords. So once you've done that, you just close the window and you can see here, click funnels discount. And just to prove it to you, I'm going to actually go to the word and we'll see that anything there number one for is going to be an easy keyword Look, because they've got no authority. So let's just go for that and you'll see how we can easily find keywords. So that's another uh, website number two, which is this one here. And we'll get that in just a sec and see what they're ranking for as well. OK, so click funnels discount. You can see that very easy keyword websites with a domain authority of one and nine and five that are ranking in the top 10 and it's got a thousand searches a month. And then what you could do is literally like, you know, find even more keywords by just putting like six or more words and adding a filter. So six or more words, adding a filter. And then that's a hard one. So you might go back a bit like five or something. And then you can see all these easy keywords here, like the ones we found before. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just to prove it to you again, I'm gonna put this tool, this uh, website in. And then you can see that's another one, how to get click funnels for free that, you know, you could rank for that as well. This website you can see they're, they're ranking uh, for this one okay so this has 90 searches a month just to prove it to you we're going to put it in and i guarantee you it's a very low competition a keyword okay more than likely no absolute promises here <laughs> all right so we can see here 30 searches a month and then very easy uh, again yeah 21 score that's why it's light green saying it's very easy for you to go for so that's method number four is basically reverse engineering your competitors so when you see a bunch of these sites like this one this one here you want to save that and you want to save like this one you want to save that and you want to bring up every keyword that they're ranking for and by doing that for all of these sites it will then bring up more sites because once I've put their keyword in, it brings up more of like, you know, this one here and this one here. And then I'll take that, put their one into the tool, bring up what they're ranking for, come back, use it, and then find more that are, you know, popping up and keep reversing. Well, keep engineering the process and keep iterating it. Now, method number five involves basically using competitors, uh, product names, and then alternative. So for example, if you're doing like, you know, uh, click funnels, it has an email marketing software but the main thing it's known for is funnel building so for example uh, there's you know competitors that have you know uh, keywords that you can use and then use alternative on the end of it to then you know recommend click funnels so you can sell it so for example if you you know had uh, lead pages so that's a competitor or whatever what we would do is go to Google and just type and then we'll just see what comes up so click funnels insta page lead pages whatever so you would come in here and you put like and basically what that's going to do is bring up this easy keyword so you can see insta page alternative is it's still got quite a lot of competition here so that's not a great one but you can see lead pages alternative right there boom there's websites that are ranking with the domain authority of, of four which is ridiculous like this website could be like two weeks old no authority backlinks just a few links which is like youtube comments blog comments and things like that so you can see how easy that is to rank for and then we've got another one here click funnels alternative you could reverse it and do like a lead pages review and do click funnels alternative insta page review now this is another one that's quite interesting if you find a review keyword from your competitor then you could do a review on their product rank for it if it was easy competition and then recommend you, you the product you're trying to promote as an affiliate inside of the post okay so that's quite like an advanced technique but if we go to filter i always love coming into here and just doing like six words or more and then we can see drag and drop page builder let's see you know how the level of competition for that and again boom that's a very easy keyword but this website's ranking because of big 
high authority link so maybe we'll do like five or more boom we've got some easy easy keywords like this one is probably easy okay that one's not that easy let's just take that one and you just keep messing around with it until you can find different keywords so you can see look thrive landing pages versus lead pages that's another one you know easy easy sites here no backlinks so on and so forth but you get the idea look at this super easy this one so when you see light blue that's gold mine you've got to take those that means you can rank with no backlinks it's just purely content so you can see domain authority of 25 and ranking you know with no backlinks no links nothing um, this one low authority they got 10 high authority backlinks but they didn't need it here five you know when you see something like this ranking in the top 10 so i hope that was good enough for you and you're able to find all different keywords with low competition if you like this video make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one